In this activity, we're going to be measuring speed. As you know, the equation for speed is distance divided by time. In the laboratory, we can do that using a device called a light gate. And what the light gate will do is it will detect something going past. So we're going to be rolling this car down a ramp. And when the car rolls down the ramp, uh, the flag that's on top of it will pass through the light gate. Now, what we've got here is we've got uh, an LED sending out light and a detector measuring that light on the other side. So if something is in the way, no light will get to the other side. So the light gate will send a signal to this device, which is called a data logger, and that will do our recording for us. So to calculate speed, we need to measure distance and time. So the distance that we're going to be measuring is the length of this flag, which is 10 centimetres. So the trolley will roll down the ramp and it will break the beam and the data logger will receive the signal from the light gate and will be able to time very accurately the time that it took that flag to go through. So if we know the distance and the time, we can calculate the speed of the trolley. Now, in any good science experiment, we take repeat readings. And there are two reasons for taking repeat readings. First is so that we can identify and eliminate anomalies. An anomaly is a result that doesn't fit the pattern. And the second reason is to reduce the effect of random error by calculating a mean value. So to make the car move, to make the trolley roll, I've got a slope on my track here so that the uh, trolley will gradually roll down towards uh, the right hand end. So what I have to do is I have to tell the data logger to start recording. Here I go with my first recording and I let it roll through and that's taken a measurement for me. Let's try that again. And there's a second measurement. And now a third time. And a fourth. And let's make just one more for five repeat readings. And as you can see, all the, speed, the time values that have been measured are pretty close together. So we do not have any anomalies. So all that you need to do now is to calculate this speed for each of the five tries and then find a mean average of those five repeat readings.